Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll learn how to use knife tool in Blender. The knife tool basically is used to subdivide any mesh. This tool extremely is useful and used all the time. Let's select the cube, and press tab key to switch to edit mode. To activate the knife tool, we can enable in the left toolbar. Let's expand the left toolbar. When we click on the knife tool, it will be activated. You can see the mouse cursor turns into knife icon. Another way, we can press K key on the keyboard. It is the hot key for the knife tool. After activating the knife tool, left click, and drag the mouse to draw straight lines marked with small green squares. Then, left click again, and green squares will become red squares. Red squares are already defined cuts. It means, there is a cut already in that position, and no additional vertex will be created. To end up the drawing, right click. So, you can draw new lines independently. To confirm the drawing, press Enter key. So, the geometry will be subdivided. To cancel the drawing, press Escape key. If we double-click left mouse button, the loop we are currently cutting will be closed. We can access the knife tool settings in the properties editor, or at the top left of viewport. Also the settings are listed at the bottom of the window right here. If the occlude geometry option is enabled, it only cuts the visible geometry on the screen. It won't cut through the geometry. If we disable this option, it will cut through the geometry. We can also turn on and off the cut through option by pressing C key. As you have noticed, when we hover over any edge, the cursor snaps to that edge. It allows us to start drawing at certain point on that edge. In the same way, when we hover over the vertex points, the cursor snaps to that vertex. If you want to disable the snapping, hold down the control key. If we hold down the shift key during the cutting, it will snap to middle point of the edges. If we enable the only selected option, it will cut only selected faces or edges. Let's select this face, and turn on the only selected option. When we try to cut the geometry, it will work only on this face. If X-ray option is on, and occlude geometry option is disabled, it shows cut points behind the geometry also. Measurements option is set to none, it won't show us any distance and angle measurement. If we switch to both, it will show us both angle and distance measurements. If we switch to distance, it will just show distance measurements.
If we switch to angle, it will just show angle measurements. We can also switch these options by pressing S key. We can also snap the cut line to certain increment angle. There are two ways to snap angle, screen and relative. To activate the angle snapping, we need to switch to screen or relative. We can also switch the measurements to angle to see angles between the cut lines. The screen method uses the screen plane for angle increment. The relative method makes it relative to the last cut edge. We can also change increment angle. We can switch the between relative and screen methods by pressing A key respectively. Finally, we're gonna learn how to use knife project. There is a cylinder in the scene. Let's add a circle mesh. Move the circle on the Y axis. Then, rotate the circle 90 degrees on the X axis. We want to cut the cylinder edges based on this circle. To do that, press numpad 1 and switch to front view. Scale down the circle a little bit. Press Tab key and switch to Edit Mode. Go to Select Menu, and choose the Checker Deselect option. Press S key and scale down little bit. Go back to Object Mode, and select the cylinder. Then, go back to Edit Mode again. In the Outliner Editor, hold down Control key and select the circle. Then, go to Mesh Menu, choose the Knife Project. There we go. The cylinder edges has been cut based on this shape. If you want to cut the back face of the cylinder also, press numpad 1, and turn on the cut through option. There we go. We can also extrude this region. Let's press E key and extrude. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.